Hi, and welcome to this week's Decred News Update. I'm your host, Exodus. We'll be going over everything happening in the Decred ecosystem. First up, we'll start with development updates. We are currently in release candidate four for Decred version 1.6, with the official version soon to follow. When starting up Decrediton release candidate four, the first thing I noticed was the tabs in the wallet have been rearranged. Normal transactions are called on-chain transactions, with Lightning Network transactions just below it. The privacy tab has been completely redesigned for an easier user experience. Users can quickly send funds from their default wallet to their unmixed wallet and get to mixing their coins to make their Decred private. Mixed transactions now have their own icon as well. Over 23% of the Decred in circulation has already been mixed, and this number will only go up once Decred version 1.6 has been released. It really feels like this release is a complete package for Decred, with years of work coming together. Decred version 1.6, of course, has the privacy mixer, lightning network, easier ways to stake, and a more private way to stake. To date, this will be Decred's biggest release by far. The following dev updates have been merged to master. DCR Wallet uses random coin selection for all regular sends. Trezor firmware has been updated and Trezor ticket purchasing is being tested on testnet. GoDCR, a new upcoming desktop wallet, has had a UI overhaul. Work is also being done to add VSPD and Politea proposal support. On the Decred iOS mobile wallet, work is being done to add privacy and Politea proposals. Updates and bug fixes were made to Rosetta DCR. The Decred DEX had a large number of tweaks and bug fixes, such as transaction confirmation counts, more chart interactivity, no trading while the blockchain is syncing, improved shutdown, optimized memory usage of order books, configurable lot limits for new users and users with good swap history, a load testing bot to stress the system, a spec for the DEX client's RPC protocol to help programs other than, for instance, Decrediton, use the DEX client, and much, much more. In progress is max order estimation, user reputation, and market data API endpoints so that external parties can pull data from the DEX. For Politea, two-factor authentication support using six-digit codes for login will be supported. Politea also had numerous design and bug fixes. On the contractor management system, work is being done to add tracking for GitHub activity stats, which will be used to ensure that developers' progress matches their build hours. Support for two-factor authentication is also being added for CMS. DEX developer ChapC says now we should tackle simple payments verification, GUI integration, more coins, and simpler onboarding. The Decred DEX still has impressive buy walls with, at times, over 11,000 Decred on the buy side. You can view the DEX market for yourself at explorer.decred.org market. As of now, the DEX is only available for setup via command line, which has proven to be difficult for most community members. Remember, the DEX proposal did not include a working GUI, only a minimal viable product. As always, I recommend viewers to follow the Decred journal on medium.com or publish OX to read about every single development update. Decred deposits were suspended on the Korean exchange Upbit, which led to the price rising dramatically with no possibility of arbitraging from other exchanges. Decred is being delisted from Upbit for being a privacy coin. Community member JC, who deals with exchanges, informed Upbit of Decred's privacy features, explaining to them that Decred's privacy is opt-in. It is now in Upbit's hands whether or not they will keep Decred listed on their exchange. Decred analyst Checkmate has released a new website called Check on Chain, this is a great resource for on-chain metrics dealing with Bitcoin and Decred. The Decred ticket price for staking hit a new high of 190.99 DCR per ticket. Stake participation also hit a new high of 54.17%. We also saw lots of community activity like podcasts and videos created. Frank Braun was on the Rough Consensus podcast. I, see, I think Bitcoin is pretty much calcified right now. There's very little innovation in, in, the, in the first layer, at least. That's what I, what I see uh, mostly as a role for, for alts. So um, especially in the areas of privacy, you know, like with Monero, for example, or what Decred does with, with governance. I mean, Decred also does privacy and other things, but the, the biggest innovation for me that I, that I see in Decred is that they have a different approach uh, to governance. Coming from a technology perspective, I just don't see how, how technology can be released and then be deemed perfect. And that's what it seems to me now in Bitcoin, that it's kind of like this, okay, this is how we designed it and, and it's basically perfect now and we, we're never going to change it or we, we change it extremely slowly. Bitcoiners will say that all altcoins are a waste of time because they you can coordinate, but I often look at what human beings have achieved via coordination. And you know, th there's, there are two ways to do things. There is this free market approach of, of Bitcoin and rough consensus. And then there's a, uh, there is another strategy to do formalized. And if you've got the checks and balances in place to prevent centralized capture. Seth Simmons was on the Decred and Death podcast to talk privacy. Strong privacy 
not only just helps with decred as a base money by giving it fungibility so fungibility is just this idea that any one decred can be exchanged for any other decred and they are exactly the same you can't tell them apart you can't tell a history anything like that um, and then also to use it as a method of exchange you need strong privacy um, you need to be able to hand somebody like you can hand somebody cash and trust that they can't track where you got the money what you've used the money for you need to be able to send somebody decred and be able to trust that they're not peeking into your wallet seeing everything you've done privacy is not this thing where you suddenly achieve it like you don't just suddenly say okay we turn this on the chain is now private we never need to worry about that again it is always an arms race and so you're always going to have to be iterating privacy tools to patch this threat this threat vector that threat vector and keep iterating so strong governance like in decred really helps to make that simpler cleaner and uh, just a better user experience for everyone on the network decred developer luke powell was on the digital cash network podcast to talk decred governance hybrid consensus and new decentralized treasury decred uses a hybrid proof of work proof of stake consensus mechanism whereas bitcoin is just pure proof of work and so we still rely on proof of work for the underlying security of the network but we add a proof of stake layer on top which is essentially the people who own Decred, the coin holders, can vote on governance issues using that proof of stake layer. So it essentially puts control of the chain in the hands of the Decred stakeholders as opposed to the other interest groups like the miners, the developers, or um, you know, uh, third parties like uh, exchanges and, and institutional uh, custody providers and things like that. Decred Motion designer Kyle Farthought has released a number of Decred Motion graphic resources on LottieFiles.com. These motion graphics are for the community members to utilize at their own will to continue building out the Decred brand by incorporating these graphics into their own websites or other projects. Lots of useful assets have been made available here in a wide range of formats. Decred contractor Insaf Nori from Morocco signed a partnership agreement with the Moroccan Organization of Young Decision Makers in order to work together in the technological field for the benefit of the youth. This allows Decred community members in Morocco to represent Decred and blockchain technology through events and workshops. Trading exchange Binance has added margin trading for both the BTC and USDT Decred pairs. While this could bring about more liquidity, I strongly recommend viewers to avoid gambling with their funds on Binance via margin trading. Decred Society put out a new video talking about Decred's proof-of-work mining. And then the final thing, in order for them to successfully build a block, they do need to follow a certain set of rules. Um, in the Decred chain, these rules are verified by stakeholders, but in, in, the, in the pure proof-of-work chain, um, they are, they're verified by the software and the, the miner alone. Now, as you can see, just by having that extra mechanism where the miners don't get to be the only people um, that that get to interact with the chain and now these these voting nodes get to interact with the chain you can see it does add a little bit of extra security it also adds a little bit of extra complexity we also had more news updates from mon pr decred project lead jk compaya was featured in coin telegraph talking about the rationale behind the bitcoin bull and bear cycles he says bitcoin's bull and bear cycles are functions of generic human psychology attention spans and it's deterministic in diminishing issuance, in that bull runs occur when demand begins to outstrip supply, which gets the attention of investors. The rate of supply of Bitcoin is constantly shrinking as a percentage of the total circulation, with the addition of a substantial supply shock every halvening. Decred does not halve, instead its block reward decreases by 1% every 21 days, which prevents shocking proof-of-work miners. Jake was also featured on NASDAQ talking about the use of Decred in Brazil's elections. Blockchain has been looked to as a way to provide greater transparency, security, and legitimacy to voting systems. Let's talk about how blockchain technology was actually applied to an election. How was Decred's blockchain used in Brazil's 2020 municipal elections to timestamp and record political donations? In, uh, in Brazil, a number of uh, mayoral, mayoral candidates had uh, chosen to opt in to a transparency system wherein all of the donations are individually timestamped and attested to by individuals to get a little bit of the dark money out of the systems uh, you, that I presume was present based on the fact that they've decided to use this system. 
And one of the major problems that we, you know that we have with voting systems here here in the United States is, is is that it's a custodial voting system. That is, you know, everybody votes. It goes onto a piece of paper, and then that piece of paper passes through a number of hands. Whether it's U.S. Postal Service, a voting machine. And my hope is is that you know if we can make the system non-custodial, we can greatly reduce the threat of actors like that. Jake was also in another Coin Telegraph article where he stated that the U.S. was the most crypto-friendly country. He says cryptocurrency transactions are a form of speech. So states where free speech is protected are the least likely to restrict cryptocurrencies. While the U.S. currently suffers from many substantial socio-political problems, the combination of its freedom of speech with protections against forced disclosure of passphrases makes it the most crypto-friendly country in the world. And to wrap up the PR news, Decred was featured as a coin whose price has been going up in the Bitcoin bull market, noting the recent DEX launch and the use of Decred in the Brazil 2020 elections. While I try not to focus on exchange rate, it is positive to see Decred's exchange rate increasing both in USD and Bitcoin terms. This attracts more investors, and even better, it means the Decred treasury becomes all the more powerful. Every time Decred increases one US dollar in price, the value of the treasury increases $635,000. And with more money in the Decred DAO, the more projects we can fund. The Decred DAO could be one of the biggest in all of cryptocurrency. On Politea, we have two new proposals up for voting. First up is the Decred in Spanish Communications and Content Creation Proposal 3 from Elian. This proposal seeks to continue the ongoing work of spreading Decred in the Spanish-speaking world by the Latin America team via content creation, user support, design, public relations, and community organization, among other efforts. The initial asking amount was $42,000 US dollars payable in Decred, but it has since been reduced down to $14,800 due to feedback from the community. Basically, commenters on Politea said they would like to see a more unique approach to marketing that is different from what has been attempted in the past, pointing at metrics like price and growth. The Latin America team responded by saying they never promised they could make number go up, but they themselves delivered on establishing a Spanish-speaking community for Decred, laying the groundwork for it to grow and thrive. The Decred Latin America team has had an extensive list of all the work they have completed thus far over the last six months compiled on Reddit. With the pandemic still ongoing, in-person events have been completely cancelled, so they have pivoted to more online content, often hosting guests from other parts of the crypto-Spanish-speaking world, as well as creating general video content. They even hosted a hackathon for Decred to attract developers. The hackathon was cut from the budget in order to appease stakeholders who want to reduce expenditures on marketing, and it has turned into its own proposal. The Decred hackathons in Latin America initial chapter after proposal from Hublito requests a budget of $17,000 payable in Decred to create a template for hackathons and also run hackathons to promote Decred to the Spanish-speaking developer community. This includes creating content to educate developers and creating ongoing challenges and bounties in order to expand the developer community. Pablito says work will be translated to English for more global use. The proposal received mixed criticism, with some supporting more development activity, and others noting hackathons do not have more substantial use by the broader community. Sign up to Politea by visiting proposals.decred.org to see the comments. Thanks for tuning into this week's Decred News Update. I hope you liked this video. Please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you got anything of value out of this. And please go to decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.